All right, hey guys, long time no see, but here we are today back with another video. So welcome or welcome back if you are new here. Now, we all know aquariums can really be a labor of love. Between the water testing, the water changes, dealing with fish disease, dealing with new fish foods, plants, snails, invertebrate, the entire aquarium as a whole, as I said, labor of love. But there are a couple things out there that can make that aquarium maintenance just a little bit easier. And one of my favorite things is sitting right here next to me. This big bundle of hosing is my Aquion water changer. I've had this for years. Uh, you can see it's kind of gross. It has definitely withstood the test of time. And this thing is awesome. But the inside of the hose is starting to get a little moldy and dirty and it's just time for a replacement. So today we're gonna to be checking out the new Hyger Automatic Aquarium Water Changer. This is very similar to the Aquion one I just showed you except it is a lot cheaper if I'm gonna be honest with you and I will have a nice little promo code to share with you guys at the end of this video. But it comes in this box right here. I chose to get the 25 foot version because my sink is fairly close to my aquariums. Similarly to most aquarium water changers, you'll get a big hose right here your gravel vacuum, and then the attachment that hooks up to your sink. So without further ado, let's open this up, just like so. And we can see what's going on in here. So first off is the gravel vacuum tube. Obviously, you've probably seen a gravel vacuum before. We have uh, some attachments for that, the piece that connects to your sink, and your hosing. So this water changer also has a one year warranty, which I find is nice in case any of these little plastic fittings break, you should be good to go. Um, you see right here, this is the piece that will actually connect to our plastic tube, like so. At the end of this, there's a little orange grate right here, and that will actually prevent you from sucking up fish or larger pieces of gravel. It can clog though, so you're gonna have to make sure to keep that clean. I'm not quite sure if it's removable. I'm sure it is, there's just no easy way to remove it right now. Uh, this just connects like that. And then if you have a bare bottom tank, like my turtle aquarium, which we're gonna get into in a second, you also have this little vacuum nozzle. This looks very similar to what you would get on like an actual like household like vacuum cleaner. This little nozzle, you can kind of move it around. This is great to literally, you know, vacuum the bottom of your tank. You'll get a little stronger suction, a little more directed. So if you do have a bare bottom tank, you have the opportunity to use this or the standard gravel vacuum. And then this piece right here is what will connect to your sink. You'll use this valve to determine if you're sucking water out of the aquarium or filling the aquarium back up. Now attaching this is super easy. We're just gonna take this little cap off. We'll take one end of our hose and just fit it right on. And then we'll take that little screw and just attach it to get a nice little watertight seal. Now one thing I'm noticing already about this compared to the Aquion water changer is this hose is very pliable. That's really important, especially when you're wrapping this up at the end. The more pliable a hose is, the easier it's gonna be to manage. We'll do the same exact thing on the other end for this little uh, gravel vacuum attachment and then screw it right on. Now they do have this in a 25 foot a 33 foot and a 50 foot hose length so you're really covered with however far away your tank is from your sink without further ado though let's go to the bathroom and attach this to the aquarium and start doing some water changes installation is very simple you're just gonna have to take the aerator off of your faucet right here and then this orange piece will screw right in I find it easier to separate the two pieces and thread this piece in first like so and then this part screws on right after. Now to start the water flow out of the aquarium, we're gonna keep this valve up and turn on the water flow. Then making sure this valve is open, we are gonna stick this into the water. There are easier ways to prime this, however, this part will take some time. And this is just my preferred way because as I mentioned, it's easier. But as you can see, slowly but surely, the water is going to start a siphon. It does take a little bit of time, as I mentioned. Um, the stronger your water pressure is from your sink, the faster this will start. But slowly but surely the water will travel all the way out into the sink. Once the siphon started, it is a little bit faster. Also, if you're finding the system is draining a little bit slow when just connected to your faucet, sometimes bringing it into a bathtub where it has a little bit lower elevation um, just allows the siphon to work a little bit faster. As you can see, we are flowing super quickly now. Then as soon as the siphon is completely started, we can go ahead and start using this to clean the bottom of the tank. As I mentioned, this tank is bare bottom, so we are using this little vacuum nozzle, which for this application is actually perfect. I did not even know this was an option because my Aquion one did not have it. But if you look closely, it's perfect in the cracks of these tiles because this is a turtle aquarium, turtles are messy. I did not go with substrate. Um, I went with this tile instead and it just collects a lot of debris in these cracks but this little vacuum nozzle is the perfect way to get it out. So I'm just gonna go around the tank and suck some of the stuff up off the bottom as the tank drains. As you can see, we've already drained it a little bit. 
And then as soon as you drain the tank to your preferred liking, we'll go ahead and use the same hose to start filling the tank back up. So I'll be back with you guys in like five minutes. The tank is drained a good amount now, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this lever right here, turn the water on, and now that water is gonna be pumped right into the tank. As you can see, we are now dumping water from the sink into the aquarium. Now because this is a turtle tank, I'm not too worried about dechlorinating the water. However, if you're using this in an aquarium, this would be the perfect time to go ahead and dose your dechlorinator. So you go ahead and dose your dechlorinator, we'll let this fill on up, and then we'll empty the tube out, hang it up to dry, and we're pretty much good to go. So as you can see behind me, tank is full. I went ahead and turned this off, so obviously our water flow would stop. And then turned off our sink, and we're pretty much good to go, except for a few little maintenance tips. The first thing is because this one has a filter, you're gonna wanna make sure this piece right here is clean every time you put it away. Next step is gonna be opening up the flow back like a siphon, turning your water on, and then we're gonna basically drain all of the water out of this hose, because you don't wanna put away a soaking wet hose. So you do this by just lifting it up, obviously gravity will pull the water down, and we're gonna completely empty this hose. And just like that, we are all good to go right back where we started. I cannot recommend these water changes more. You never have to deal with buckets again, and if you wanted to, you could always put the other end of this hose out of a window, water some plants. There's a lot of great ways to use tools like this, and I would not keep multiple aquariums without them. Now, if you wanna get the Hyger Aquarium Water Changer for yourself, because it is pretty good if you're on a budget, I'm not gonna lie. The exact price for this 25 foot one is, oh, give me one second, it's only $30. $29.99, that's really cheap. But, but, I also have a 20% off promo code for you guys to use today, which will bring your total down to only $24, and of course, shipping is free. This is the official Higer website. I will leave a link down in the description. It's called Pet Nanny Store. And just make sure when you go to check out, you enter the code CHEWIESBRO20, capital C, capital B. I will put all the information down in the description, a link, as well as the promo code, so you can score your 20% off any of the sizes of the Higer Aquarium Water Changer. But that is gonna be pretty much it. Overall, I really do like this water changer. It was very easy. There's not much to them. Um, I do wish that little screen inside was removable. It would just make cleaning a little bit easier. It might be removable with some force, but there were no tools included uh, for that. And I also think it would be cool if they included a few more attachments than just that vacuum nozzle. They can maybe put a brush on the end. Some of that stuff's kind of gimmicky, but some of it also really does work. As I mentioned earlier, though, that is it for this video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.